Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. I don't know how I do that, Jill. What's my name? Damn, I ain't even talking about that. Talking about your homie? No, I just fucked up. I wasn't even supposed to say that. Because, so, but I really want to know, like, how, how that work when you tell. Not even time I'm, I'm just saying, like, when you tell. Hold on, tell, hold on. They know what the fuck tell. But, but in like, jail? I don't, but how that work, though? Like, tell them to go to jail? Like, how you still be in jail after telling them so much? Because, you know, a lot of times snitching don't mean you just out for free. It just means you're going to be Nah, but you get out from snitching and then go back to jail. I thought, so, fuck do you run out of information? <laughs> like, you run out of shit to say? I ain't even trying to be on this shit on the camera with this nigga, I was just saying, like, I want to know, because I don't be knowing. I would just be saying, looking up, saying niggas locked up. I'm like, damn. Just gave up like a whole hood. What, what a more do they want? <laughs> so, so, you know, how, I know you don't want to go too far, but like, how did that situation start? Like, I, I seen know. someone in there, was it like, just you being cool with Sosa? Yeah, but I feel like, how other situations start with rappers when you get in a little buzz, niggas just don't like you. And they really don't like when you stand on your shit. So I think that's what happened. Niggas tried to sell me some wolf tickets. And I really got on that. I heard the day that they was sliding through your hood is the day that they had caught the, the case, like the murder case or some shit like that. Yeah. But so, I, I'm the type of nigga, I, ain't, I don't say this shit about people while they locked up. That's why I probably not even say nothing bad. This interview about them niggas. Because when people out to defend themselves, that's when I attack. Only thing I can do right now is get you beat up in jail. Like, uh, that boy. Like, <laughs> uh, I was gonna ask about that. How the, what, what happened with the noodles, man? I'm, I'm, I, I was trying to send him. I don't know who really whooped his ass. But I swear to God, I still got the noodles. How did y'all, you say you still got the noodles? <laughs> I got the noodles for that ass. <laughs> I don't know how me and him got into it. He, he just, he give it to everybody that want clout. For sure. Uh -huh. So was he the reason that you and uh, Benji had like Yeah, I didn't know that guy. I didn't know him. I didn't know him, but I told him before he died, like, you know, something gonna happen to you, hang with him. And that's what happened. So I didn't know him, that's just like, you open live one day, a nigga's woofing at you. I ain't know him, I just, it's obvious. You can see the future sometime. A lot of niggas ain't gonna be around. But so, I ain't know him from, I ain't know him a little bit, cause I ain't even know dude. So I know I ain't know him. I ain't know him at all. He be saying, fuck me. They gonna smoke me, type of shit. Do you feel like they was trolling? Or you feel like it was like, they really felt how they were saying? He, if he if you die from that shit, I think it was real. You, if you troll and die, I think that shit was like, I think you died for that shit. So it should be self-explanatory sometimes. Sure. I think it got you get what you're looking for in life. When you're looking for some shit, you get it. And then they they make you the bad guy for speaking on it though. Yeah, I was gonna ask, did you get any backlash after like dropping that song? Ain't nobody like him. Nobody like them niggas. And people was like. Is y'all really into it and really your ops? I'm like, bro, I don't really know him, but shit. That shit, disrespect don't stop when you die. If I was disrespecting you and then you die, I'm still gonna disrespect you. Cause I was doing it while you was alive. So I'm gonna do it while you dead. I heard, you not the only, I heard Rico Reckless just say that about Duck. Cause a lot of people was basically, basically on them about this and Duck. Like, why you doing that? You chasing it? But then he showed messages where Doug told him you gonna be dead by 2018. So like situations like that, would you consider like like the same like fair game? Like I right, you in, play in his world, hell yeah. Because in my world, it depends on how I'm coming. It's like I say more so in my brain, hell yeah. I I keep up that same energy. But the backstory behind shit would me be real. I don't really know the backstory, you know. 
a lot of times it be, cause you'll see niggas hanging with niggas and they doing shit like that. I never hung with um, them niggas that I was doing that shit with. It's different when you was really hanging with niggas. Something happened to them, I don't think that's cool though. Cause I think if you had access to the nigga while he was alive, you should have trolled niggas while they was alive. That's what I think. I think when niggas die, yeah, keep, I keep the shit up. But I still think it just mean more when you was doing it while they was alive. Then they died. Now it's different. Now it's like, all right, you was known for being a tool with him and he died. So instead of it looking like a nigga died and you just start dissing him. Because mm -hmm. everybody ain't going to know that backstory. Like when I got to all them other niggas, everybody was, you clout chasing. I ain't want no clout. Shit, so I was just defending my name. If he defended his name, then hell yeah, but if it's some clout shit, the streets ain't gonna respect that shit. Regardless of which side of, regardless, they ain't gonna respect that shit. For so, so you know, when Lil J uh, was, I mean, he came home, like, did y'all have any words? Like, why he was home type shit? Like, was anything exchanged, DMs, calls? Yeah, I wasn't really trying to talk to his ass. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, yeah, but it's just, he ain't asking nobody. He ain't nobody in my world that I wake up and worry about. I don't even be this him and shit. So, no, I just, you just, I just heard some shit. You just said, yeah, and Lil J just got out of jail. Six suck a dick. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, what you say? No, you say Lil J went back to jail so he could suck another. Yeah. Tell me I don't be this. <laughs> I ain't getting him now all that glory. Fuck that nigga. I ain't getting him all that glory. So, you know, with that situation, is that like just between them or like, Cause a lot of people might be confused thinking like, all right, it's the whole FBG type shit. Or is it just like, cause I seen even words with people like yelling and shit over, I don't See, know if you See, everybody got their own reasons on why they don't fuck with me. And if you rhyme with somebody, I don't really get no fuck, but all this shit is direct. It's at whoever it's at. It's not at, if, if, if a gang wanna get involved and shit, but if I was like, FBG and shit. None of them niggas dissing FBG. What's up? Like, and then I don't know. They not. Way. They really not all the same. Like a lot like, of people just look at it like being from the same hood. It's different. Them niggas ain't like. Yeah, like they from the hood. I don't know though. where his ass from. I don't know where the fuck. Um, none of them niggas from. But I know where they from when it's time to pull up. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck they from. Like, like Fives, where they got their name from. I don't know them niggas. So I don't really know. I just know they all in cahoots. That's the thing, though. I think they all get put in that one box. But, <clears throat> but then you would look on the internet. They, they from different you would look on the net. Them niggas be into it, dissing each other and shit. That's what I'm saying. It's like, clout. It's clout. They want clout. Shit. They be dissing each other, starting podcasts and shit. How did that come up, though, as far as the shit with you and y'all are like? I don't even know. I don't even fucking know. His ass. I don't know. Because you said you was fucking with his, uh, Blogging and shit at point, right? I was watching this shit, you know, because I, I just wanted to see, like, what was the new era of, like, rappers blogging, like, what was they going with that shit? Once I seen it was, like, them talking about old stories of being in the hood. <laughs> and motherfuckers die and get shot. I'm like, oh, hell nah. So that shit interesting alone, because you're like, damn, is this telling? <laughs> is this first 48? But like, I don't know, I, I ain't in the tour with King Gala. What's up? I don't know him. I ain't. He, he wouldn't do shit if he seen me, so I, I'm not in the tour with him. He'll see me and chop it up. So what's your overall feeling with uh, rappers that blog? Do you feel like it's the right way to do it where you can respect it or it's like? Yeah, like the YouTubers. You see, they be going to Walmart. They be at the crib pulling pranks. These niggas just got to tell war stories that they want involved in. Like when you look at vlog bloggers and shit, they, bro, they be paintballing inside the crib and shit. They be live streaming. The other niggas just had Blueface, his bitch over there. Yeah. Fucking in the bathroom, throwing holes in walls and shit. That <laughs> shit is entertaining. All this shit they talking about, YouTube already know this shit and they wonder why all these pages be, oh, so-and-so went on the drill with so-and-so because y'all niggas giving up the information. You, you the information. Shit.